compare health care and disability benefits to veterans who were exposed to burn pits in combat. That was the goal of the PACT Act, which after political back and forth finally passed last night. WSAV's Andrew Davis is in the Lowcountry newsroom with reaction from veterans. Well, the Senate roadblock is gone. The PACT Act about to be signed into law. The legislation will help 3.5 million veterans, all of whom were exposed to burn pits and the dangerous chemicals inside, which have now made them sick. All the things in this world you can mess with, why would you mess with the people who risked it all for you? James Duncan is a veteran out of Estelle's, dealing with major physical issues, all stemming from the burn pits he helped make in Kuwait and Afghanistan. It was human excrement by the tons, chemicals, rubber tires, you name it, if it can be destroyed, it's been placed in the burn pits. When my lungs are, are, are functioning at about a 30% decreased capacity, that 46 years old, I feel like I'm 68, 69 years old. Master Sergeant Wayne Powell spent 22 years in the Marines and month after month trying to get help for his condition from the Veterans Administration, only to get denied. Up until the passage of this bill, it's basically been too bad. Uh, you just have to deal with it. Powell wasn't alone. 3.5 million veterans could be affected by their time overseas fighting for our country. Georgia Senator John Ossoff made sure everyone knew that was more than just a number. It's people suffering. Caring for them when they return is not a good deed. We don't get extra credit for doing this. It's not a favor. It's our job. Now the bill is passed and $280 billion over 10 years coming in for expanded health care and disability for these fighting men and women. That the government has said, hey, we thank you for your service and the issues that you've developed because of your service. And we're going to uphold our promise to you to take care of those conditions. Now, President Biden expected to sign the bill into law very soon. The burn pit registry is still open on the Veterans Administration website for anyone who may be affected. We're going to have a link in this story on our website, wsav.com slash burn pit, to find out more. Andrew Davis, WSAV News 3, on your side. Andrew, thank you.